Hi, my name is Mike Abe, and welcome to episode 86, Supplemental. In episode 86, I launched the first module of what will ultimately be a Dres Explorer, a crude Dres Explorer on its way to Dres, and I put it into a very specific orbit and tried very quickly to explain why I needed to be in the orbit that I needed to be in. And I think I did actually a very terrible job of that. I, I went very quickly. I was doing it over the gameplay that I was already recorded uh, without any real further explanations. And so what I did, I'm going to put this video together that will do a better job, I think, I hope, of explaining why I'm shooting for the orbit that I am shooting for in that video. And there'll be diagrams and, and, and all kinds of things. I'm also doing a little differently in that usually what I do is I do my gameplay without recording any voiceover, and then I do all the voiceover afterwards. Um, this time I'm going to do both at the same time. Hopefully that will make things a little bit more clear, a little bit more connected. Well, I'm kind of lying, actually. The video you're watching right now was actually inserted after the voiceover, but you know what? Let's actually go to it together uh, right about now. Okay, so what I'm showing here, I'll play this little clip. This is a clip of me, uh, I, this is from last episode, but I, I cut it out, and this is me, I'm actually at Kerbin Station, in Matthew on Kerbin Station, and I'm playing around with um, trying to see if I can get that injection burn over to Drez, like the uh, window, or the transfer window planner mod says I should be able to. Now, of course, the station's not going to Drez. At this point, I hadn't launched the module yet. I was just trying to gain some confidence in the numbers that it was showing me. So I'm just in something that's in low orbit, and I'm just playing with uh, the numbers that the transfer window planner is giving me. And what I want to do is take a look a little bit more closely at those numbers. So what I'm specifically looking at here, this is the information it gives me, uh, and it's, it's you know, I, I'm going to pump the window transfer planner mod again. It is completely integrated with Kerbal alarm clock, so all this data is actually attached to the alarm that's right here, which is fantastic. And the data I really want to take a look at is, is right in here. What they're giving me here is what the ejection angle should be of my burn, 165 degrees to prograde. And if you don't know what ejection angle is, I'll be explaining that in just a little bit. And also an injection inclination, an inclination for the orbit of about 20 degrees. And then I got some dV, delta V numbers and stuff like that. But these are the two numbers I really want to pay, to, pay attention to. I wanted my orbit to match these two numbers. I'll get to ejection angle in a little bit, but what about the inclination? That, that's a little strange, maybe for some people, why I need, want to have an inclined orbit. The issue is, is that Drez's orbit is inclined to Kerbin's orbit. They're not in the same plane. And what that will usually necessitate is some sort of normal burn along the way to get uh, the plane of your trajectory to intersect with Drez when Drez you know, is in the right spot in its orbit. And in this particular case, uh, where Drez is going to be is above the plane of Kerbin's orbit, so I need to add some positive normal to my burn. Now, there's a few ways of doing that. Number one is you can do it while you're doing that injection burn. When you're in low Kerbin orbit, you can add a normal component to your normal prograde component and uh, just do it all in one big burn, or at least try to. Uh, that's a pretty inefficient way to go. I've talked about that in previous videos in this series, that doing normal or radial burns when you're moving really fast in low orbit is expensive and not the place to do it. The better thing to do, the second idea, and this is what I normally do, is to do some sort of normal correction mid-course, somewhere out in the middle of interplanetary space where you're moving quite a lot slower and the normal correction shouldn't be as expensive. That's what I normally do, and that's what I did uh, previously in this series. I had a Duna probe that's on its way to Duna. I have a Moho probe that's almost at Moho. I'm so excited, but uh, it's on its way to Moho. And both of those, I did a, I, I put my parking orbit around Kerbin, was an equatorial orbit, and then I my injection burn was purely prograde, and then I did a normal correction burn mid-course somewhere along the line to get my uh, intercept with the planetary body I was shooting for. However, there's a third alternative, and the third alternative is to take a look at this ejection angle. 
See, let's, I'm going to go over to a couple of diagram that I got here. This is a diagram sort of showing the orbit that I was shooting for. So I got Kerbin here, and I guess in this diagram, it's not clear. I'm kind of looking at the night side of Kerbin, really. The sun's kind of behind Kerbin in this. And this is my parking orbit looked on edge on with a 20 degree inclination to the equator. And what you want to do is to do your injection burn when you're at the lowest point in uh, this particular parking orbit. So I'd be doing my injection burn here and that burn would be pure prograde but I would be raising my orbit in this direction going this way. And you can see that I'm adding just by you know the advantage of having this particular inclination. This inclination is adding for free a normal component to this ejection to the insertion burn or the injection burn to get to dress. Okay? And so instead of doing a normal burn in low curve in orbit or putting a normal component to your burn or doing a normal correction out in interplanetary space. This is the third option to make your orbit inclined and this is frankly the cheapest way to go because the only cost of doing this is the cost of adding a 20 degree inclination when you launch the thing up there which frankly uh, isn't that expensive. In fact I talked about that the episode previous episode 85 I talked about that. Okay I got one more thing I want to show you one more kind of clip and it's right here. Okay, this is again another clip from the previous episode gameplay that I never showed you and it's me playing with the window transfer burn uh, planner. I wanted to lock in, I wanted to take a closer look at my transfer window, specifically how much time I have. So what I did is I set it up and I, and I made the time period here really small. I'm looking at from day 395, which was this day at the current time, just to day 10 of the next year. I'm almost at the end of year one. And here's what I get. And I get, this is my blue area here of my window. And if you look, the, the window's fairly wide. The delta V within this window, i got two cursors going at the same time. The delta V within this window of the transfer is all pretty close to being the same. But it's about a 19 day window here and I put this in here to take a look at you know how precise do I have to be at when I eject and, and make my dress burn and it turns out I don't have to I got about a 19 day window in there. I also was taking a look at what the different ejection angles notice it's giving me an ejection angle here and different um, ejection inclinations were at different points within here so I just click here and you can see they changed a little bit but they don't change too much and they seem to average around 165 and 20 degrees so I that's why I went with the ejection angle and inclination that I did so nice little model let's stop this video and in fact let's stop the previous one I think it's still going <laughs> And let's go back to my diagram. So this is sort of the side view of my parking orbit. Let's look at the top view or the view from the north of what's going on. So here's Kerbin looking at it from the north, right? Got the sun's off in this direction. This light blue is meant to be the day side of Kerbin. This gray area is meant to be the night side of Kerbin. This is my Kerbin prograde vector. This is the direction Kerbin is moving in its orbit. I want an ejection angle of 165 degrees from prograde, and that's this angle right here. From prograde, I want where my injection burn is going to occur to be 165 degrees from the prograde vector, which is Kerbin's prograde vector. So that's where I want it to be. And then I'm going to perform my burn. This arrow is meant to represent my burn. You know, I'm going to burn out in this particular direction. Of course, it's not going in a straight It'll arc out like this, but that's okay. <laughs> so I wanted to launch into this orbit. But remember, I do want this 20 degree inclination. Now, Kerbin or the KSC, of course, is at on the equator. So when I do my launch, I need to launch so I'm right at, which would be either, the, in this case, the ascending node from the view we have here, or the descending node would have worked just as well, but I need to launch at the ascending and descending node. Keep in mind that my ejection burn needs to be at the low point in this parking orbit. Okay, so this is where I'm doing my injection burn. My ascending node would be 90 degrees from that right here. So my launch needs to be 75 degrees from prograde. That's just this 90 degrees subtracted from the 165 degrees here. So that's where I should be doing my launch, right? And then if I launch 75 degrees from prograde, remember prograde is where the sun is rising too. So 75 degrees from before the sun rises and I launch into a northward 20 degrees inclination, then I'll get the orbit I want. 
That's if I was launching on the actual day I was doing this injection burn, which I'm not. That burn is about 26 days away. So I have to think about that. In 26 days, Kerbin's moving in this direction. It's going to keep moving around the sun. And as it moves around the sun, it's going to rotate. Well, Kerbin, it, uh, the day-night side is going to rotate. Let's say that. Or actually, here's a better way to say it. The prograde vector is going to rotate. Instead of it being going straight to the right, it's going to be starting to move off like this as we go around the sun. So instead of it looking like this, 26 days from now, it's going to look like this. So what I've done is I took this diagram and I just rotated the whole thing 26 degrees, or 22 degrees, I'm sorry. It's 26 days from now, but 22 degrees. Okay, I left the old prograde vector in there, so that's this prograde vector, but everything else is just exactly what's in this diagram, all rotated 22 degrees. So now the sun is off in that direction. Now, why 22 degrees? Well, in 26 days, right, Kerbin's year is 426 days. So I just took 26 days divided by 426 to get a fraction, multiplied that against the 360 degrees that Kerbin would do in a full year, and that gave me this 22 degrees that it's going to do in this 26 day interval. Okay, so what I need to do is think ahead of time, because as Kerbin rotates, thanks to the marvels of conservation of angular momentum, your orbit doesn't. Your orbit's uh, inclin or orientation in space will remain constant, and Kerbin just moves kind of within it. Okay, So if I did my launch like I did here, by the time 26 days come, came around, everything here would be 22 degrees off. So what I need to do is launch 22 degrees and sort of plan for that. So this is where my prograde vector will be in 22 days. I want this angle still to be 65. I want this angle here still to be 75 degrees. So if I look at my prograde vector now, subtracting the 22 from the 75, that gets me that right now I want to be 43 degrees, or 53 degrees, I'm sorry, from my current prograde vector. Okay. And if you take a look at the video, that's exactly what I did. An eyeball being 53 degrees from the current prograde vector, which remember is the sunrise terminator. And I launched myself into an inclination of 20 degrees. That gets me into the orbit that I want. I'm going to be performing my injection burn. Actually, let's go to this diagram. This will be what it'll look like 26 days from now. Performing my injection burn here will send me going off in the right direction at the right inclination to give me the normal component that I want and hopefully getting me very close to intersecting with Dres. I hope that that's quite a bit clear. If it's not, just let me know in the comments and I'll Oh, I'll try again. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for the next episode.